Hi, I'm Gina Ventola, Practice Manager for Ventola Law. One of the best parts of my job is meeting with business owners. However, at times, it can be difficult to meet in person. That's why I started this show, to introduce you to local business owners in our community. Join me on your virtual coffee, a new kind of networking. Hey everyone, welcome to Your Virtual Coffee, the web show that introduces you to great local businesses in the Denver metro area. Today, my guest is the incredible Danielle Allen. Danielle <laughs> is an insurance specialist at Legacy Insurance Partners. She specializes in all things insurance from home, auto, umbrella to commercial, general liability, and workers' comp. Rather than selling cookie color policies, she assists her clients in creating comprehensive packages that meet their exact needs. Danielle's main goal is to minimize stress and legwork and to make sure that her clients feel cared for from A to Z while providing superior customer service. And with that, Danielle, <laughs> welcome to my show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. I've been excited to sit and chat with you. Thank you so much. I want our audience to kind of get to know you because you and I were sharing before this and we have at least one thing in common that we could talk this whole episode about, but we won't. <laughs> uh, so let's have the audience get to know you a little bit. Where are you from originally? Born and raised here in Denver. Uh, it's kind of a rarity these days, um, so it's exciting to meet other natives. Um, I have moved around quite a bit, but um, I went to school in Brighton, so. <laughs> so you've been definitely the Denver metro area. Denver metro area, and then, yeah, now I'm, I'm in Arvada. We've been grounded in Arvada at least six years now, so I'm in West Arvada um, and loving it, and I don't think I'll ever go anywhere else. <laughs> What do you like to do for fun? So the one thing we have in common that we talked about is running. Um, I've been a runner all my life. So um, I started running at about four or five um, years old and um, I've been a road runner forever. So um, started my first Boulder Boulder, I was nine and um, I started doing 5Ks every weekend. My parents had me out there um, and then I did a lot of track and field and swimming. So um, I actually became a better swimmer than a runner. And um, so I swim, I run, I'm a swimming coach. And um, I know you're asking me what I do for fun, but that's really where my passion lies is, is with kiddos and with sports. So um, swimming and running is, is a huge part of who I am on a regular basis. I still get in the water with my swimmers. <laughs> um, um, and I read a lot of books. I um, read, try to read a novel a week and I watch a lot of movies. My kids and I are, we go to the movies once a week. Um, of course, lately it's been harder, but um, the theaters are now back open. So we went last week and we're hoping to get back on our routine of watching movies. But those are the main things, just, you know, staying uh, in shape, and um, spending time with my family doing silly things. <laughs> now you mentioned that you like to read. What kind of novels do you like to read? So I'm all over the place. <laughs> I do um, a lot of the um, like the true crime. I have a lot of true crime series um, that I that I get into, and then I switch it up to the sappy, you know, Nicholas Sparks and Jodie Picoult <laughs> stuff. Um, and then some, you know, fantasy. I mean, I read the whole Twilight series with my kiddos and, you know, stuff like that. So I, I, I like it all. I'm currently reading a book that takes place in, in 1939 um, with illegal adoptions. And it's just, I get so intrigued. It's my escape, you know, just to, I fall in love with the characters and I run away and <laughs> dive into the book. Wow. We have a lot more in common. We'll have to talk offline. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I want to get into like a book club. We need to do, a, I wanted to look into a virtual book club because that's another thing is I love to read with other people and get their take and chat about it. <laughs> oh, we will definitely be talking about right. this. 
Now I would like to switch kind of to um, work. What yeah. is it about insurance that intrigues you? Everybody's like, insurance, there's nothing intriguing about that. <laughs> Um, there is a actually, blackjack. You can make a decision whether you want insurance right. or not. Right. I um I didn't know anything about insurance. Um, I've been in insurance almost eight years, and my background was all customer service based. So I had a lot of, um, you know, a, a customer service representative, account management, billing, things like that. Um, but I kind of stumbled upon it when I moved to to San Diego. I was recruited for a customer service piece in an insurance agency. Um, but it turns out I um, just fell in love with it because I love people. And so I've always just been um, really happy making new connections and helping people. And so I felt that insurance was just one of those things that people really don't understand. They know they need it, they have to have it, but um, chances are, you know, people that I talk to don't know what their coverage means and, and why they need it. Um, so that's why I say I like to tailor make policies. Everybody's needs are different. Um, insurance is ever changing as well as your life. It's going to change from one year to the next. And um, I really pride myself on, on being able to sit down with my clients and let's go through it line by line. Here's what it means. Here's what's up and you know, what's, what's coming up, what's going to change um, and, and be proactive with my clients and, and educate them. Um, but it's just, I really just enjoy people. So I like to have an excuse to sit down and meet with people and talk to people and get to know them. And so I, um, you know, I, I kind of treat everybody like they're my own. <laughs> I like it's, that. I actually think that's a good way, a really good way to look at it. Yeah. it you know, I treat my clients like they're my own, you know, yes. whether it's my they're, own family uh, or my own friends or... And my grandmother is, is the one that taught me to, um, she said to always treat people the way you would want them to treat me. So um, I kind of, I took that. She told me that when I was very little and it stuck. And um, I think insurance is just so tricky and it's just so foreign to a lot of people. And, and um, I want to make sure that it's there, that your insurance dollars are working for you um, and that it's there when you need it. Um, but I, I, yeah, so I took it and love it and now I'll never leave it. <laughs> now what makes legacy insurance partners special or different from other insurance firms? Legacy insurance is so unique. I, um, I'll try not to get emotional here. <laughs> I finally feel that I am where I belong, um, with a group of women, it's women owned, um, but that are just as passionate as I am about meeting people and taking care of people and just creating those genuine um, bonds. And, and, and some of us are mothers and some of us aren't. We all come from all of these different places and, and backgrounds, but we just are so driven and motivated and, and passionate is the only word that I can think of. I mean, we take care of each other. And so um, we treat I, I just, we keep hearing and, and I keep seeing that we are just, you know, we treat people with such care and concern and I'm not in this business to um, sell people or make them switch and, and you know, make money. Um, I really am just here to help guide and direct and make sure that people know, um, like I said, know what their policy means. Um, and so most of the time I'm just sitting chatting with people and, and I'll even tell people, you should stay where you are. This is a really great policy, but do this, make these changes. You know, I just, I just kind of sit and talk with people. <laughs> um, and, and I think legacy um, is just a place where people feel cared for and genuinely loved and, and they don't want to leave. Um, and, and we make those genuine connections with people regularly. What would be one thing you'd like potential clients to know? Hmm. <laughs> this is a tricky one. I, I, um, I don't know. Um, I would like people to know that they can feel um, safe coming to us, um, that we are a small team, that if, if they were working with any one of us, um, we are all 
um, connected. And, uh, you know, if I'm gone, there's never going to be a time where you can't reach somebody that knows um, what's going on with your household that isn't acquainted with your family. Um, we're all available all the time. Um, and, and we work we work on weekends and late hours, but we, we really just care. That's really all that it is. You know, we don't want you to call and get somebody in a call center across the, the country. We want you to get somebody that knows you, that knows everything about your family and, and, it, and wants to help. And so that's really, um, I guess, that'd be the main thing. Just know that we're, we're here and we're available. And um, regardless of who you get, there's only seven of us. So <laughs> um, you'll be taken care of. Danielle, let's talk about Power Partners. Now for our audience, Power Partners are those businesses who target your ideal client, but are not your competition. For example, a realtor and a mortgage broker both target that potential homeowner or future homeowner, but they don't compete with each other. In fact, they wind up working together or working, you know, helping each other out. So it's a great way to build relationships and to pass referrals. Absolutely. So to understand who yours are, Danielle, let's talk about your ideal client. So you kind of have two of them because you do both um, residential or personal lines, as they say, and commercial. So let's do personal lines first. Who is that ideal client? My ideal client there um, would be somebody that um, maybe just has kind of been lost in, with their insurance and um, isn't really sure, um, but understands the value um, so that I can really, you know, be able to help them and, and educate them um, in that area. I, I love working with new families or first time home buyers. Um, that's always, that's always nice. Um, to just be able to kind of get to know a family and, and grow with them and, and be with them as their insurance needs grow. So I'm thinking with this type of client, obviously a realtor, mortgage broker, would Absolutely. both be really great um, power partners for you. Absolutely. Um, those are folks that I work with regularly and, and love those relationships. Um, auto brokers as well. Um, you know, when somebody is needing to drive a car off the lot, needs a policy in place and, um, or needs specific coverage um, because of a loan, um, a type of loan that they're getting, um, th those are good. Those are good partners to have as well. Okay, now let's shift gears and go into the commercial arena. So for your commercial client, who is that ideal client for you? Small business owners, I think. Um, I work with large business owners too, but I think that I've kind of found my niche with um, the smaller business owner that maybe only has a, a couple of employees, um, whether they own or lease their space. Um, I, I'm really comfortable there um, helping small business owners and, and I've got um, all of it. I can do the, you know, the general liability, the business owners piece, the, the workers comp piece if they've got employees, but um, I think, <laughs> sorry, I think that's, that's probably just, it's pretty broad, I know. Um, I, I know that it is, but um, I really enjoy working with small businesses. And plus, I, I would think with small or smaller business owners that, you know, they have some concerns that maybe the larger business businesses don't have, such as, you know, am I going to make payroll this week? Am I going to be able to pay my insurance premiums? Sure. And so they've got that kind of hanging over them sometimes. And that's where, you know, your background probably better suits you as a better choice for an agent rather than someone from, you know, TV who does funny, right. but tacky commercials. Right. Um, and I find that on both the, the personal and commercial side that, um, you know, somebody that values having that person there, that's a resource that will sit down with them um, and, and kind of, 
you know, for me, I like to review every year. Um, I know that's something that I hear from clients all the time, you know, uh, my premiums went up, but nobody told me, I just get something in the mail. And so folks that kind of, you know, want that personal, that extra um, touch, because I'm going to sit down every year and I'm going to review everything line by line and make sure that it still fits what you need. Um, and if premiums are going to jump up, I'm going to be on the phone calling before that happens. I'm not going to wait until <laughs> until it does to, to surprise you. Um, so folks that can, that can really benefit from having a one-on-one -on -one, um, relationship with their agent. Okay. So I'm thinking for the commercial side, obviously commercial realtors would mm -hmm. probably be good power partners for you. So commercial realtors, if you're out there, call Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to my, what I wanted to ask you next. What is the best way for people or business owners to reach out to you? Well, I have um, lots of ways. My phone number, my email, my, uh, our website. So um, I really make sure that I'm on all outlets um, and that I'm available anytime. So um, my cell phone, as well as, as my legacy email and then the legacy insurance partners um, and we'll include a slide in this um, at the end that will have all this information Great. so we'll post that at the end along with who your ideal client and power partners are great any last thoughts no i i really just enjoyed being here with you um i'm so excited to kind of meet one-on-one -on -one again with folks and um this has been this has been a pleasure. Um, I really just love making connections with people and this was a lot of fun. Well, Danielle, thank you for coming on my show. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We love business owners at your virtual coffee. And to our audience, thank you for joining us today. We couldn't do this show without you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Or if you haven't yet, do it right now. There's a little button right down at the bottom that says subscribe. And business owners, let's talk. Let's do a virtual coffee and have a great day. Your virtual coffee is sponsored by Ventola Law. Ventola Law, mediation and legal representation at an expert level. You can find them at VintolaLaw.com. Thanks for joining me today. For more information on your virtual coffee, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and wait for it, our website at YourVirtualCoffee.com. Thanks again for watching and have an incredible day.